Riley Dog Industries reported the following results from the sale of 7,600 boxes of deluxe hair color in May. All right, sales were 304,000, variable cost were 182.4, fixed cost were 60,000, and net income was 61.6. Riley Dog Industries reported the following results from the sale of 7,600 boxes of deluxe hair color in May. Sales were 304,000, variable cost 182.4. Fixed costs were $60,000 and net income was $61,600. Assume that Riley increases the selling price of its product by 10% on June 1. How many boxes will have to be sold in June to maintain the same level of net income? All right, so let's jot in what we know. Okay, I'll just bring the color to light here. All right, sales were $304,000. Variable costs were $182,400. Now, if we just simply subtract sales from variable costs, like I've done here, you now know the contribution margin is 121.6. Okay, fixed costs were 60,000, that was given. So all you have to do is subtract fixed costs from contribution margin. If we do that there, um, we bring that to light, show you, we get 61,600. Okay, now we need a couple other pieces of information as well. But we need to calculate the contribution margin. And how you do that is you simply take, you need to calculate the contribution margin percentage. So you take contribution margin dollars divided by sales dollars. Okay, it's 40%. They told us that the boxes sold were 7,600. Um, that does not need a decimal point. And so we could calculate the sales price simply by uh, dividing sales divided by boxes sold. Okay, so if we take the 304,000 and increase it by 10%, we get the new sales price. Now, since we're only increasing the sales price, nothing else changes. So variable cost would be exactly the same as what it was before, right? 182.4. And then if we simply copy this cell over here, we can calculate the contribution margin. And I'll just subtract variable cost from sales. Um, now, we needed this amount of information to calculate the new contribution margin percentage. Again, if we copy this cell over, what happens is we get contribution margin divided by sales. So now we're at 45%, right? Um, what's our new selling price per unit? Let's bring that to light. We take the 334 divided by the uh, 334,400 in sales divided by uh, the same number of boxes sold. I need to bring that to light. 7,600. Now, at this point, we really we're not answering the question. We're just determining what the new selling price would be. Okay. So with that information, we can now use these formulas here to determine the target profit. So if we want to calculate sales dollars that would achieve the, the target profit, we take fixed cost plus target profit and divide by contribution margin. All right, so let me bring that to light here. All right, so take fixed cost, the 60,000, add in the 61,600, those are given in sales B18 and B19. Right, and then divide by the new contribution margin percentage, that's 45%. All right, so once I do that, then we know that the new contribution margin would be equal to the 267,520 times the 45%, right? You don't, and let me bring that to light so you can see that, okay? Now, you don't even have to, drop in variable cost because you know what the new contribution margin percent would be. Bring fixed cost over again. Okay, that's the 60,000. And we now can calculate uh, what net income would be. And it's the 61.6 because that's what we're trying to achieve. That's our target profit. Uh, so we would have to have $267,520 of sales to achieve 61,600. 
So if you wanted to solve this by calculating sales first, uh, then you can back into um, how many were sold. We knew that we now know the sales price is $44 per unit, right? Um, that's our new selling price. So let me go ahead and just make that equal to that cell. And, and then we can calculate what the unit price was by taking sales divided by 44 units. And when we do that, what do we get? We get 6,080, and that would be how you could solve for target profit uh, units sold if you wanted to calculate sales first. Now, if instead you wanted to just calculate uh, the target profit in units, you know, we're going to calculate this cell first. What you would have to do is take the fixed cost plus the target profit. So the fixed costs are 60,000 plus the target profit, that's 61.6, add those together. And we're going to then divide by the contribution margin per unit. Now, have we calculated the new contribution margin per unit? We haven't. So I'm going to leave this here as a pot, and that's not complete yet. And let's jot in contribution margin per unit. And with the new price increase, that contribution margin per unit would be equal to 152,000. It's our contribution margin divided by 7,600 units. That's $20. Now we divide over here and divide it by 20. And we get the same 6,080 of uh, the boxes sold. Oh, by the way, all of this should have been on that cell. Yeah, I put it up here. In other words, if you want to calculate it directly, take fixed cost, net income, divided by contribution margin. Okay. And by the way, if you still wanted to prove this out, you could then take the six. Well, let's let's also make this $44 here. You could then say, take the 6,080 units times $44. We get the selling amount. Okay, I'm going to format all of this the same way, if you don't mind. Let's do this, format that. Okay, and if we wanted to calculate the variable cost, it would be 1 minus the contribution margin, right? So we could take 267 times one minus the contribution margin, the new contribution margin of 45%. And if we subtract then the, the variable cost from sales, we see we're, we're coming down to exactly the same values. All right, so that's how you would solve this.